What's up everyone? It's Cameron and I'm gonna make a Facebook page. That's what this video is gonna be about. I know a bunch of you are like, I can't even get a shop approved. I can't, I don't know how to make a page for a shop. So I'm gonna start making some videos that are for the basics. Um, and I'm gonna start putting these in my course too. That's currently, you know, you already know all that information. It's half off in the description, whatever. This is gonna be the same type of information that I put in the course. It's just, it's gonna be less a YouTube-y in the course, of course, of course, yes. But right now I'm gonna hop in to my computer and I'm gonna create a page without any preparation. The only thing I've prepared before this video was I Googled like marketplace online graphic and then hit image search. That's the only thing I've done and you'll see it here when I get started, but that was just because that's where I'm gonna find an image so I don't have to do the whole Canva thing. Um, that's what I did for my other pages that I've, that I've attempted to make shops with. I went to Canva and created logos and cover art and everything. But just for the simplicity, instead of you guys watching me mess with Canva for like 15 minutes, I am just am gonna save a photo and use that for the sake of speed. But other than that, I don't really even remember all the details of when I made a page because it was so long ago now and so many things kind of like went weird on it and I just didn't really know what I was doing. So I'm gonna start a page fresh with you while you watch, if you plan on watching the whole thing. But I'm sure I'm gonna encounter things I don't understand things that I mess up, whatever. I want this to be as realistic as possible as if you were doing it. And then you can kind of just see my commentary on it of somebody who's like, man, I don't know why the hell this is happening or, or what's going on here. Instead of it just being very curated for you and perfect. So just doing something a little bit different today. Let's make a Facebook page and see if we can get shops on it or, or what, what to do. And if, if for some reason it's like, okay, yeah, we're applying for shops or whatever that means then I'll, I'll maybe not post this video right away and wait until I have the other parts ready. So we'll see. This is either gonna come out Friday, October 29th, or it's gonna come out a week later, two weeks later, I don't know. But let's jump in. I'm in my computer now. All right, so on the side of the page, and you won't see this because it's my profile, but on the side of the page, we have pages. There's a pages button you should see. So. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. It's gonna be an orange flag. Now, how mine looks, and I've created pages on my other account, and it looks a little bit differently than this, but it should still have on the left, once again, a create new page button in blue. So we wanna go ahead and click that. Now, this is a new page that you're creating. It's just kind of like a profile, but instead of it being a personal profile, it's for a business or a celebrity or somebody you're interacting with on behalf of this. They can like this page, but they can't friend you from it. So we're gonna start a shop and I'm gonna just call it Home Garden Warehouse. Cool, super original. And I'm gonna type in home and see if we get Home and Garden website. I'm gonna choose as my category. So just something along those lines. Description, we offer an arrangement of home and garden decor and products with a bunch of random capital words in there that I'm not gonna fix. So, create page, we're gonna hit that at the bottom. After that, you can see it opens up, add profile picture and add cover photo. So I went ahead and I just saved a couple images, this one for my cover, and um, this one I'm gonna use, uh, there's another image that was similar, I just Googled it, and I'm gonna use that for my profile picture, you'll see here in a moment. So profile picture, and I'll probably cut this out so you don't see all my files because I'm all private, but I'm gonna go ahead and open that. It's not the best thing, but it gives us a little graphic. Cover photo. I'm gonna go find the other picture that I saved. And I just Googled home and garden graphic and then home and garden photos. And I found, you know, large images and set them as my stuff. This is gonna get us through there for now. And yeah, I'm gonna hit save. Save, perfect. WhatsApp pop-ups are gonna pop up all the time. You can add them if you want. You can connect WhatsApp to your Facebook page. I don't really care to though. And I have a page that has nothing to do with WhatsApp. So I'm gonna hit leave. I just don't care to set that up right now. All right, get started. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. 
and we're gonna choose, it's, it says set up your shop, which is kind of cool because I've created a page on another one of my profiles that didn't give me this option right away. I had to find it and I had to go to business suite on the left. So if you are not seeing this right here, you can kind of see it's grayed out because of this pop-up, but over on the left of the screen, right underneath your name, there's business suite. You can click that instead if you're not getting this and then you should still end up going similar route. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit next because it's gonna have us choose our checkout method, our business details and inventory. So right here, choose a checkout method. Check out on another website or check out with Facebook, check out with messaging. We want to click check out with Facebook and I'm gonna unclick this shop pay thing because I don't really know much about it. So I'm just not gonna turn it on. That's as dumb as that is. I'm just not gonna do it. I wanna simplify as much as possible. I'm assuming if you have Shopify website and you wanna use shop pay and all that cool, but that's not what I'm doing. So just check out with Facebook and I'll click next. Now, I'm gonna blur, this one's blurred out because it's my actual shop, so I'm just gonna leave that blurred out, but we are gonna create a new business account for this. Business name, Home and Garden Warehouse, yes. And I'm just gonna use an old email that I have that I don't really use for anything anymore, but if I were you, I would go ahead and get on Google and just add a new Gmail account that's brand new and do something along the lines of like Home Garden, warehouse at gmail.com, you know, just something generic, or you can add business on the end of it like I do with my name email, like just do something along those lines and then just put that in there instead and make sure you're signed into it so when you get notifications, you actually see it. All right, I'm gonna hit next. Your catalog, create a catalog by creating a catalog. Okay, your catalog is an inventory of items you'd like to sell. Create a catalog so you can add items to your shop. Um, home garden. I don't know, I don't remember this part. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit click next. Check out method, check out with Facebook. Now, we also hear all the time it's supposed to be check out with Facebook and Instagram. I don't know right now why it just says Facebook, but this is the whole point of this. I'm going through it in real time and seeing what pops up to see what mistakes you guys might see. All right, this all looks good to me. Submit shop for review. Now, this is really interesting. Interesting. This submit shop for review. Before I, st before I started recording just now for this part of the video, I had actually already done all of this on my other Facebook page and created the same exact page that, we're, that I'm like making in front of you right now. And this whole process was a little different on my other page that I had owned forever. And this whole verification part had, did not pop up at all, but now it's popping up on this one. So it's just kind of funny how, no wonder this stuff is all confusing because look, I'm getting different answers and different methods of the same sort of completion by doing it this easy method that they put right in front of you. So you're almost ready to sell on Facebook, start verification. I guess we'll start that. I didn't have to do that on my other one. So verify. Verify, you'll need to show that your organization is real and you have a legitimate connection to it. Okay, sweet. Country, United States. Name. Okay, what is this? My name. We'll use this to look up official record of your organization to confirm it's real. If there's no match, you can upload documents to verify this information. See, this is the part where it gets so confusing. I don't have an LLC for this one that I'm making up, and I kind of don't want to go through this verification process. So, I'm very curious if you have to. I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to skip this step. I'm just going to X out of this. Yes, exit. Leave. And I'm gonna see if I can do it the old way because I don't really, that way I think gets us in that limbo. I'm gonna go over here to the left and do business suite like what I was talking about before. And this may not work, but I'm just gonna try. Okay, done. And then I'm gonna to go to commerce, also on the left bar, left hand side, there's like a little bar. It's still asking if we wanna start verification. I'm gonna hit X for now so I can look around for a second. Create your shop. So it's interesting on this one, it auto created a shop for me because I clicked that stuff in the beginning, but I didn't have to do that on my other one. But right now, look, check out inactive. If you're not ready to enable checkout, okay. I'm gonna click that and it's probably just gonna do the setup for me again, but it didn't. So we're gonna go back to business suite. This is where it gets so confusing, you guys. All right, let's go back to commerce on the left. So commerce. 
And I guess we have to start verification. So we already have, okay. You're almost ready. We need to click, okay, let's do the verification then. Looks like you can't skip it. It's just weird I didn't have to do that on my other Facebook uh, page. All right, name, Cameron Lawrence. Address, I'm gonna click my address, but I might even cut away from the screen right here so that you guys don't see what all I put in. Just know that if you're following along on a website, I'm not gonna put one, which means I might not get approved. It's just, again, it's weird that I didn't have to do that previously. Okay, Cameron, Cameron, whoa, this is crazy. So it says select your organization. It like finds businesses that are close to you. My organization is not listed. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna check it that way, see if it lets us through. Since we couldn't find matching record, you'll need to upload documents like a business license, a utility bill to confirm the details you entered. Okay, this is a pain in the ass kind of, I'm not gonna lie. Upload, okay, verify name, upload one of these accepted documents. Why can't you tell me? They gotta have a link. Okay, business license, certificate of incorporation, EIN document. All right, what you're gonna wanna do then? Start a business, which you can do at, on the IRS website. You can literally get a free EIN for your business name. It just has to, you just have to have it. But at the same time, you probably have to start a business through your state and like, like if you wanna start an LLC, you have to go to like yourstate.gov and find where you can get a business basically. That's not this video though, but you're gonna to have to do that. All right, so I just submitted to get an EIN from the IRS. When you do that, make sure you go to irs.gov. I forgot about that and you know, I went to irs.com first and then I was like, man, this just looks off and I had already submitted some information and it's basically like another tax filing place middlemaning between you and the IRS and you actually have to pay for it. So just save yourself some wasted time and go to irs.gov and just Google irs.gov first and then you'll see it because they'll have their logo and stuff. Just don't make that mistake because it's a waste of time. But okay, I'm gonna see what these are. EIN documentation, I now have that. I got it immediately. That whole process took me two minutes. So let me just upload that really quick. Okay, verify address and phone number. Do I have to do both? Okay, accept the documents. Utility bill, proving that services are being provided for you to run your business or, okay. So I'm gonna actually go to like my gas website um, and download a stupid old utility bill from last month or something and see if they take that. So again, that'll take me a second, but you know, we'll, we'll see. Cool, that literally took me another minute or two. So I'm gonna upload that. It went just to my download, so I'm just gonna pop that in there. Sweet, I'm gonna hit next and see what happens. How would you like to be, how how would, oh, I can't speak. Choose how you'd like to confirm your connection to Cameron Lawrence. Text message with a code. It's gonna go to my phone. Sweet, let's see if I get anything. Text me now. Okay, bring me up from thing for a confirmation code. Got my confirmation code on my phone. So no worries there. Just texted it to me because of the phone number that I input. Thanks for, meeting, for submitting your info. It should take about two days to review your submission. We'll update your verification status after the review is complete. Sweet. Why not? All right, until then, Let's see if it lets us set up any of this other stuff. So, okay. Um, by the way, I hit get started next to the setup shipping and returns because create your shop is already selected. So I'm gonna see if it lets us continue just to get this stuff out of the way. So I'm gonna add standard shipping. The same stuff that I was already doing earlier. I'm gonna do three days to seven days. The price is gonna be $5 across the board just because that's what I wanna do. Zero per additional, minimum cart for free shipping. I'm gonna do 50 bucks and I'm gonna hit save. Let's see if it lets us continue. Okay, it lets us continue. Sweet. I guess we're just gonna wait now. So that is the process of creating a Facebook page and then starting the verification for your shop account. Now, I'm just gonna let this be its own video and then I'll make an update video once I can see if I can get this thing actually running. And then maybe once that's all done, I'll paste them both together and then make a fresh video where it's all in one spot so you don't have to find it other places. But 
Thanks for watching. Hopefully that helped a little bit, at least get you started. And then you can follow along with me as I learn stuff. And as I maybe have obstacles for this or get it approved and we'll see what's up. But let's recap. What did we do? We did actually make an EIN for a business, by the way. And you, I did upload a gas bill from my house, which is what I made the address for the business. So whew, let's see if we get this thing going. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you want my course, the stuff is going to go in the course in more, even more detail. So right now it's half off, but if you want to get it, link is in the description. Um, it'll go up once all the shop stuff gets added to it. But for now, if you buy it, once that stuff's added to it, you already own it. So you'll just get access to the new information. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.